One shot we take with Simbu, and then Simbu would move out. And then Naga Chaitanya would come in. KMI Chesave was shot along with Vinay Tandi Barubaya. Magic shouldn't be recreated. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rahman Music Sheets. Hi friends, how about finding a top take? A wow factor in this episode. Do watch it till the end to grab this harmonic moment of the day. Released in 2010, Vinay Tandi Varuvaya is still running in theatres. VTV is the eighth film directed by Gautam Vasudev Menon. First collaboration with A.R. Rahman. In episode 144 of Rahman Music Sheets, Gautam Menon revealed untold stories about the music of VTV. Link to the episode is given in the description. And the BAFTA goes to... Slumdog Millionaire A.R. On 8 February 2009, Rahman won the British Academy Film Award, popularly known as BAFTA, for his music in Slumdog Millionaire. Ten months later, December 2009, the BAFTA platform witnessed the release of another film album by Rahman. We had a terrific combination working with Harris Jairaj and they've been uh, uh, giving hit after hit and it was the first movie he came, um, wanted to work with me and it was giving me a bit of... <laughs> Tension, I don't know whether I'll be able to pull off. Well, there's a great combination of people, you know, and they're doing some good stuff. So, I hope uh, people like this music. We have, we have tried very hard doing something. Vinay Tandi Varuvaya became the first Tamil film to have its music release in London. Yeah. Mr. Menon releasing music at BAFTA, did it help the film or its music reaching out to the world? Yeah, it was, it was publicity no matter what, right? It was promotion for the film and we decided to go all out. It was our way of saying thanks. We'd worked with Rahman on a film. He'd won two Academy Awards by then. He, he was He's prolific, he's done so much of work. And it was my way of sort of, I don't mind using the word showing off, you know? Uh, and I did just that. I actually did just that on stage where I said, this is how I feel. And I just pranced around on the entire stage without saying anything. Um, you know, and everybody laughed and all that stuff. Uh, and in a good way, I was not trying to, you know, uh, put myself, I, I, I don't do that. But this was something that I wanted to own. And, uh, you know, I'd managed to reach him. I'd managed to sit with him and I'd managed to compose songs. I'd managed to get a brilliant background score. So we thought, why not present it at the BAFTA Theatre? And we put those visuals out and then we came back here also and did an audio launch and it really helped the film because there was a big crowd that came in for the opening of the film and it's still playing in the theatres. So. I can recall that after the music release, in an interview with BBC, Mr. Rahman expressed his deep desire to bring South Indian music out of its narrow confines of four states and popularize it all over the world because it had so much to offer. Uh, do you think VTV music was a step in that direction? I know there was a there was an interview at that point, and uh, they had played uh, the soundtrack from the film 
you know on the show uh, at that point and all that um see by then he'd already won the academy award so he was already out there in a big way and uh, the theme of bombay was being played extensively everywhere you know at that point so um i just want to be a small part of this whole um, journey and i'm happy to be a a small part somewhere i you know i'm very happy that uh that uh, i've done a stage show where i've introduced him and presented an award to him where i've called singers on stage we did a musical ensemble so to speak i i don't think i'm a great singer at all but i don't mind putting myself out there when it comes to music i performed a song also on stage so that's my love and respect for uh, you know the man so somewhere i've been a small part of his journey and i'm um and i'd love to think so i'm saying VTV was simultaneously made in Tamil and Telugu. Naga Chaitanya and Samantha starred in the Telugu version A Maya Chai Saave. Mr. Menon generally films are dubbed in multiple languages, but you remake them. What drives that choice? How challenging is it to make a film simultaneously in two languages working with stars working out their schedules how difficult it is No it was exciting see for me uh, if it is an organic way of filming it then it's fine right um and both these films were you know about 95% very organic uh see when you try to make a, f- a parallel film later it becomes business and uh you know you're trying to recreate something but all these films were shot simultaneously like emi chesave was shot along with vinay tandi barwaya and i loved the process there was no two ways about it both the actors were equally competent and uh, you know they were full on involved with the process and um uh, just in terms of like emi chesave the producer alone stepped in and said can i have a climax where both of them you know are together in the at the end of the film uh, that was not something that i really wanted to do but then she talked about you know telugu audience liking only happy sort of scenarios and people you know they leave the theater feeling good and they don't want to be like disturbed and all that so okay you know that's when the commercial aspect of filmmaking comes in and i i shot another climax for them but otherwise it was a very enjoyable process of uh you know making both the films together the whole crew traveling together we shot abroad in the us and all that everybody was together so there was a lot of camaraderie and looking out for each other and all that stuff simbu was telling che you know do it this way and uh you know che was really looking forward to picking up from what simbu was doing and all that so it was a, it was a great experience both these films there was no two ways about it yeah sharminda In 2012, Gautam wanted to recreate the magic in Hindi as Ek Diwana Tha, featuring Pratik Babbar and Amy Jackson. Javed Akhtar wrote the lyrics. The music was released in Agra near Taj Mahal. Ek Diwana Hu aur Diwana Rahunga. सर का गौतम सर का और आज जावेद साहब हमारे साथ नहीं है लेकिन जावेद सर का भी और मैं सबसे बड़ा दीवाना रहूंगा इस खूबसूरत ताजमहल का इन हिंदी द फिल्म है तेलुगु वर्जन लवर्स यूनाइट 20 theaters presented the climax of Tamil original Lovers Go Their Own Way. Ek Diwana Tha proved to be a major flop at the box office. Man pukare. See ideally uh, today I I know safely I can sit back and tell you that magic shouldn't be recreated. You shouldn't try to recreate that. Tum bhi de ta tu. Sachi, ye kya kar raha hai tu? क्या हो रहा है भाई इन द फर्स्ट फिल्म वी मेड द ओरिजिनल एंड द तेलुगु वर्जन वे शॉट ऑलमोस्ट साइमिलटेनियसली इट वाज मेड एज टू पैरेलल फिल्म्स यू नो देयर वन शॉट वी टेक विद सिंबू एंड देन सिंबू वुड मूव आउट एंड देन नागचैतन्या वुड कम इन एंड द सेम शॉट वुड बी 
crank with a different actor saying different lines i mean another language but the hindi version was made 2 years later and uh, if in the first film i'm just giving you a small example if as the heroine walks past you know her hair is sort of you know uh, moving in the wind and her saree is fluttering which is all very natural in the remake we are trying to do that with a string we try to flutter we try to create that flutter it doesn't work osana be there when you call and i'll be there osana feeling like my whole life is changed you know so i always believe that magic should never try to be recreated right and somewhere with the actors and everything you know there was a magic about simbu that is brilliant you know that he there's one very there's an honest approach to the, the to the acting it's a very natural way of being there in front of the camera he will convince you right from the word go that he is karthik you will forget that he is simbu right and uh, i didn't get that with prateek honestly um and uh, that's it it just didn't work that's all sun lo zara kehta hai man tum se ye dhadkan dhadkan 10 years after the tamil original gautam menon decided to make a sequel of vtv the world was under the grip of covid pandemic Menon revolved his sequel around the lockdown. The original lead actors Simbu and Trisha came on board. A.R. Rahman did the music and it was released on YouTube. Link to this film is given in the description. No, I was setting up for the sequel of VTV. I had kept writing various versions, and uh, I had one small idea, which is not actually the sequel and the version that I'll be going to film later, whenever I get the opportunity. And we were all in panic mode when COVID struck, right? Pandemic, and it just looked like we won't be able to film at all, and this would just be, you know, going on forever. At that time, it looked really bleak, and so I took it as a challenge to. actually you know work on something and put it out so i called only two people i called rahman sir first and he said yeah let's do it he said and i said so this is only going to come out on youtube he said yeah it looks like that's going to be the only way now so let's just do it he said and i called simbu simbu said yeah brother we'll shoot it hello but just figure out how we are going to do it because we won't we can't meet and stuff so immediately laptops uh, you know we set up uh, zoom calls video calls you know and uh, camera was sent the script was sent and then to tushar's place also and both of them very sweetly agreed to be part of this because we all thought there's no going to be any filmmaking as such later right or or even at that point so we just took it upon us as a challenge to do this and we did this ஒரு <laughs> you know proper filming would happen so i didn't want to put out the actual story of what these two people are going to do be going to be doing 10 15 years later on a youtube short right so i made a sort of an imaginary idea and i and i filmed it and i put it out we we got mixed reactions for that it was not really great i think and it was okay also adala vida konjam mukkiyama rendu vaartha eduthu mudla eduthi adutha naal padichu paatha kevala ma irukku romba mukkiyama ஒரு 
உங்ககிட்ட பேசணும் உன் குரலை கேட்கணும்னு தோணுச்சு அதனால தான் பண்ணேன் sorry but at least we pulled off what was a film you know uh, a shot uh, in that space when filming was not possible at all and rahman sir composed to what i had filmed and he sent the music across uh, it was sort of brilliant it was an experience all, all together how can i help i need you narke kartik i need your love but shooting etc uh, how did that happen you must have required at least basic crew and equipment how did you manage that so so i was everything and simbu helped me so there was no there was no additional crew at all it was just me simbu trisha and rahman sir's uh, music that came to me and i put it together i edited the film in my house i had the i took the help of my uh, boys then i sent it to my editor and uh, it was done by just the four five of us there was no extra 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 person on the crew at all this kevla ma pekkam illa ma kekra ni veno thollar na veno vera yaar unak illa ni ena kulla nenichittu kekra un kaiya pudikana un thodana un kaal la vaalana ur ambliya kekra ur ponna enak ni veno instructions were given to simbu to place the camera a certain way a 7d canon was sent to him uh, you know and uh, camera instructions were given to place it here go back come forward and then these are the lines and all that and i also sneak to visit to simbu's place a couple of times which uh, at that time i didn't talk about it but today i can safely say i did that una seri pana unak ellame nalla irukanu adukaga mattu venuna solra I love you Karthik. Be okay. You know in the film when Karthik talks about Smona Ragam and says that Mani sir made me dug my grave. I really laughed at that point. Smona Ragam? Yeah, Smona Ragam. Mani sir yana kya puchr kar? Mani sir towards the end we have few alaps in mr rahman's voice that really uplifted the mood of that film yeah because i just thought you know he would um, get his team to you know put together something and send it because things were really bleak at that point right uh, there was just no hope at all but he saw it as hope he saw it as let's put the word out that work can happen and he he recorded his voice he changed a few tracks here and there he just said get permission from sony to you know i want to use a little bit of the original you know so we immediately checked with sony and they said no problem we'll clear it for you on youtube and all that and uh, everybody came together to do that gotham claims that he became a filmmaker by watching films of mani ratna how is that possible For his first film Minale he met Rahman but they didn't work together why Before VTV Gautam worked with Harris Jairaj on seven films After VTV he worked with Ilya Raja with untold stories of three generations of composers connected by destiny gautam vasudev menon will be back in our next episode stay with us uh, there was just no hope at all but he saw it as hope he saw it as let's put the word out that work can happen and he he recorded his voice he changed a few tracks here and there he just said get permission from sony to you know i want to use a little bit of the original you know so we immediately checked with sony and they said no problem we'll clear it for you on youtube and all that and uh, everybody came together to do that do you agree that this indeed was the moment of the day is your choice different 
whatever your mind says write it in the comment section below we will be waiting subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained